Hello, Mr. K here for the fifth and final episode or video or whatever we're calling these of Ugg Boy Genius of the Stone Age. I hope you've been enjoying them so far. If this is the first one you're watching, really should go back and watch the other ones first. Um, we're just going to get cracking on with it and then we'll have a little bit of a sum up at the very end. That boy, he's been bashing at stones all week. Then today, after lunch, he lugged it up to the top of a hill and threw it back down again. It crashed into the stream and disappeared. He was thrilled to bits. He just kept jumping up and down and shouting, Wee! I've done it! He's really gone completely balmy now. It's like that Sisyphus. Who? Kept pushing stones uphill. Why? Did it all the time, years and years of it. Completely balmy. Who did he? Who did you say? Even you must have heard of it. It's famous. The labours of Sisyphus. It's called the labours of a loony more like. I'm going to bed. I can't cope with it any more. Did you make the bed like I told you this morning? I put the bedstone back on top, Dugs. That's all right then. I hate going in there finding the bed's not made. Now I'm not going to read to you all of the footnotes there for you to have a quick read through and they will hopefully give you a little bit of extra context now in the past in this book whilst they've given us a lot of information they haven't always been historically accurate so you really might want to go back read through them look them up online and see if you can figure out what the actual truth is anyway let's continue dad about time yes if this is the Stone Age, and Mum says the Ice Age is coming any minute now, yes, how long is an age? Oh, stone me, Ugg. You've got me there. An age is absolutely ages. Ages and ages and ages. Oh, I see. You know, Dugs, this stone is a bit hard and cold. Oh, don't you start. Hard and cold. It's all I ever hear. Maybe the boy has got something. It would be nice if... Nice? You're saying it now? Nice if it was a bit warmer, Dugs. A bit softer. When I was skinning that big cat, its skin fell all over my knees. All over my legs. It was warm. And soft. And nice. Warm. Soft. Nice. Look. If you're a cave dweller in the Stone Age, you've got to be hard. Hard as nails. There is no room for warm, no room for soft, no room for nice. So now it's both of you. First it's all warm, warm, warm. Then it's all soft, soft, soft. Now it's all nice, nice, nice. Warm, soft, nice. Pa! What are you two going to do in the Ice Age, eh? Answer me that. It's coming, you know, any minute now. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't come whining to me when it's come. It'll make this Stone Age seem like a summer holiday. You'll have to be tough then. Tough as old boots. Ugh, look. They let me bring the sharp stone home. We could try cutting that skin for you, you know. The trousers? Oh, Dad, terrific! There they go, snipping and cutting. It doesn't go all the way round. It's no good. I'll throw it away. We need another bit, Dad. What for? Another bit the same for the back, see? If you say so, son. Bit more snipping. We've done it! Trousers. Dad, the bits have got to be sort of got together, you know? Joined. I don't see how we can do that, son. We've done all we can. Not quite finished, have they? I wish it wasn't the Stone Age. I wish the Stone Age would end. Things must get better. It can't always be like this. People will have nice, soft, warm trousers one day. Perhaps in the future, things will get better. Won't they? Now, it's up to you. Do you think things have gotten better? Do you think we get to wear more soft things? I'm pretty sure this isn't made of stone, but who do I know? Now, there's been a lot of information in the pictures in these last couple of pages. So have a look through them, see what you can find. And oh, 
they kept talking about the Ice Age and I have been giving you guys a little bit of stuff to research at the end of each of these videos. So for the last one, I would love for you guys to research a bit about the Ice Age. Tell me about it. Don't just watch the film. Find out and do a bit more research about it because you'd be amazed to find what you could find out. I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've really enjoyed these books. And if you have any ideas or suggestions for any books you'd like to see read more on this channel, then hit one of us up. We'll get to work on it and we'll see if we can get you some more videos made. Other than that, see you all soon, hopefully. Bye.